This thing will not come alive. Oh good, outside in a big field where anything could get me from anywhere. I knew it! I knew it! What did I just say? What did I actually just say? Holy hell. Oh, I'm going to waste my thing on it. Oh my goodness. I dodged though. Ah! Right, how on earth are we going to do this? It's going to be the same way we defeated the tractor. Or do I just have to keep shining light on it? Oh my god! Oh, run him down, run him down, run him down. Help it run him down. I think we did as well. Awesome. Ah! Shit! 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 Not quite sure how I'm supposed to do it. Not quite sure how I'm supposed to kill that. Tractor. Combine harvester, sorry. Right. Let's have a little look. I've got places I can hide. There's a big gate over there. I'm going to try and do what I did with the tractor and lure it into the gate. Yeah, 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 whatever. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's not killing me, mate. It's not killing me. They didn't give you much time to get out of the way, do they? Holy hell! Oh, come on! That is so unfair! I ran out of sprint. <laughs> Crap. Oh, for crap! Crap! I have no idea how to avoid this thing. It's just got too many skills, and again, it's going to get me. And I can't run. Okay, we're fine. How did it know which way I was going to... Oh. If you're overwhelmed by enemies, try to run into the light. Yeah, I would if there was any to run into. Okay, I'm going to look over at that gate again, see if making it drive into the gate like I did with that big tractor digger is the way to go. We'll have a look. Oh, I've only got one flashbang left. Okay, yes, I know, growl. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's try that. And I'm not going to get all stressed like I normally do. I'm just going to play the game. Hopefully enjoy it. Okay. Come on, into the gate, into the gate. No? Okay, that's not what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm just going to keep on shining my light at it. Dodged like a badass. Oh! Unfair. Shit. Oh, get out of the way, man. Ah, oh, so I'm gonna die now because I've got no sprint left, no health left. Dodge! Can't dodge. <laughs> Darkness that protects the strongest enemies regenerates. Keep the lights on them. Yeah. 
I think that's what I need to do then. Because I can't see anything else in that field that's going to help me, so I think keeping the light on this thing is going to help. Drop that. So the thing has to drive over it. Kidding. Right, keep shining my lights on Oh my god, that was so fast! <laughs> well, cows and pigs can just bite a big cock, because I killed the common harvester. Oh shit. He's dead. Anyone else? No? Brilliant. Oh, that was much easier than I thought. I just had to shine the light on it. Sweet. Um, climb the ladder. I'm enjoying this now. <laughs> now I know what to do. Alright, down we go. Over we go. Can we open the door for you? There we are. Ah, silo keys. Barry, my friend, I shall come and save you, sir. Ah, uh, Al, is that you out there, buddy? Boom! Yeah, it's me. Ah, oh. you missed an opportunity hey, there, let's Alan. Go, man. All right, let's go. It's farmyard time. Oh, can't get through there, can we? No. Or can we? I think oh. We're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. <sighs> I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. No? Alrighty then. Oh, there we go. I have to push this one. <laughs> hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. Crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Well, hey. You're not going to laugh at my witty joke? No? Okay, Barry. Okay, Barry. All right, let's push this one open. You ready? Oh, you're taking that on this time, are you? Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. Oh, that's not good. Look at that. Chainsaw stuck in tree. Where are you? There you are. Old gods know the truth. Oh dear. Tall. Odin. Fuse box will be in here. Oh, it won't. Oh, why do we always have to check the fuse box? Always the flipping fuse box. Is it in the kitchen? No. Where's the fuse box, my friend? Where's the fuse box? Not going to be in the bedroom, is it? No. Out the way, please, Mr. Duffer Jacket. Puffer coat. Watch your face. Let's look at this. Downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay. You really want me to fix the fuse box, don't you? Let's go outside and fix it then, shall we? Okay. Fuses, 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 fuses. Where's the telegraph pole delivering the electricity? Power lines, in other words. Is it around here? Fuse box. Fuse box, anyone? Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? Oh, well, you know. Leave me alone. Aha! Oh, I don't have to go all the way over there. Nah, surely not. But now I know the electricity goes in there. Aha! Ah. Right, maybe it's got to be in the house then. There's no basementy bit, is there? Because I've just been up and down and round the outside. Oh, I haven't checked upstairs. It could be upstairs, I suppose. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. <laughs> kidding? Those guys sound awesome. They do sound pretty awesome. Ooh, manuscript. Om nom 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 nom. The mystery of the missing week. Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self, 
I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared, the mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Oh. Still after Alice. That's good. Bosh. Is there a fuse box up here? Yeah. Fix the fuse. <laughs> good tune. There you go, Barry. Can you hear that, Al? You sick? I can. Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. Uh -huh. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Yep. Oh, that's gotta be... What's her face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. <laughs> Cynthia Weaver. Cynthia right. Weaver. Must be. Play the record. Which is Cabin King? Find Cynthia Weaver. Okay. We need to find <laughs> Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Good thinking. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is. Yeah. What the hell? It's moonshine, I really wouldn't. Oh, I'm going to be in a drunken stupor. That was cool. I still got my cardboard cutout. Oh, I thought there was someone else in the room there. I just looked at it and said it was cardboard cutout. Oh. And, and they gave the best books that year. No, you couldn't. <laughs> That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. <laughs> what do they put in this stuff? I like drunk Alan. Like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. <laughs> I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. Aww. I know. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Fair enough. Shit. I don't have to play while drunk. Is he sleeping with his eyes open? That was creepy. What? Oh, this is the out of body experience. Awesome. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered awesome. being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice oh. would never turn the lights off. Alice? Alice! Let's find out what's going on. Oh, Splash. Oh yes, that's right. I remembered thinking. I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <gasps> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I didn't I rescue her, find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Well, let's go down and see. Alice! Jagger had Alice. Alice! And so she had me. Yeah. Alice! Alice! <laughs> 
I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. There's just a Maybe inside. she's inside. Alice! Yes. The hell? Go back into the cabin. The oh! presence had touched me. <laughs> she had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice! Behind. She's not here. She's not here. Yeah. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. A horrible woman. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. Ah. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. She's dictating this story that I'm in now. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Ah. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. You're making her grow stronger. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. The was weak and far away. But I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. And here's the light. He's my dad that I keep on calling him. I'm in rapture. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. Oh, your barber. She looks so old. This is really cool. Confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Oh my god, careful. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place Whoa. he now haunted. So that's what happened to the cabin. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence. Kept me safe that night. And this is the car crash. Alan? Hmm. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, that's Nightingale. <laughs> awesome. Well, brilliant stuff. Like, I was worried that because I'd spent quite a while not playing Alan Wake, I was worried that I'd come back to it and not have a clue what was going on, and I started not to. But that 
made a lot of sense and that's really quite a cool twist. I mean I sort of knew that's what was going on anyway but it's clarified everything, that's really good. I'm looking forward to carrying on playing that. How many episodes are there? Anyone know? End of episode 4. Well that's a good place to end it. I'm going to watch the cutscene for the next one. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, so I don't need to see this. That is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the well, I don't need to see that. I'll watch that next time. A record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Wagery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and yeah. get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the uh, night. Uh, Always in the light. Yes, she has the key to the witch's cabin. See, I know this. I know this stuff. Awesome. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. Right. I think... <laughs> my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh. Afraid so, Barry. Oh. Oh, this is not good. It's not good, but it's absolutely fine because now I can start from here next time. Because I need to stop now. Just going to have a quick look at the statistics because I don't get this. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And I'm also going to check which achievements I just got. Take a moment to reflect on past events, per chance to dream, okay. Right, thank you for watching again. Um, I'm going to carry on with Alan Wake because I'm really enjoying it now. Definitely going to finish it. And, um, cool. Until next time, farewell. Enjoy the outro music. Three, two, one, and...